Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. There is a hair in my soup. Oh, my apologies. I'll get you a new one right away. Okay, thank you. And it's on the house. On the house? No, it is in my soup. On the house means free of charge. You won't have to pay for it. Oh, okay, thanks. Hello, my name is Kate and in this lesson we're going to go to the restaurant and we're going to learn how to speak English in a restaurant. Part 1. Before going to the restaurant. First, let's learn some words and phrases which you need to use when you're planning to have a meal outside. The first one is a phrasal verb to eat out. If you eat out, that means you eat outside your home. You go to a cafe or a restaurant to have a meal. We can also say to dine out. That means to have dinner outside or to have lunch outside. For example, would you like to dine out together? Now, if you're going to eat out or dine out, before going to a restaurant, you need to make sure if they have a table available for you. Let's say you and your friend are going to the restaurant, but you're not sure if they have a table for you. So, what you need to do is to call the restaurant and you should make a reservation or you should book a table. Make a reservation or book a table means to call the restaurant and ask them to reserve a table for you. Hello, I'd like to book a table for two, please. For tonight at around 6 p.m. Yes, we have a table available for you. Hi, I booked a table for two under the name Kate Ryan. Of course, please follow me. And now, when you go to a restaurant, the restaurant may be very expensive or it may also be reasonably priced. Reasonably priced? Reasonably priced means it's not too expensive. It's not too cheap, but it's not too expensive as well. The prices are fair. The prices are reasonable. For example, I checked the menu of that restaurant and it's reasonably priced. Now, at the restaurant, there are some people who are working there. Those people are called the staff, a waiter or a waitress. They bring your food and drinks to the table and take your orders. A server is another name for a waiter or waitress. A chef, the person who cooks the food. A host or hostess. They welcome you at the door and guide you to your table. A manager. They make sure everything in the restaurant goes well. Some restaurants have a busser, also known as a busboy or bus girl. They clear the table after you finish eating. Every restaurant has cuisine. Cuisine is a specific type of food they serve at the restaurant. It may be Russian cuisine, European cuisine or Asian cuisine. Local cuisine is the specific type of food you can find in a particular place. For example, in America, Burgers and hot dogs are their local cuisine. Also, there is a type of food which is called continental food. Continental food is European food made in Europe. Italian food, Spanish food, French food, German food, and so on. And there is a type of food which is called oriental food. It is Asian cuisine.
food from countries in Asia, including Chinese, Japanese, and Thai food. What type of food do you prefer? I really like continental food. Another type of food is vegetarian food. Vegetarian food is a type of food that is made without any meat or fish. And there is vegan food. Vegan food is food that doesn't come from animals. It means no meat, dairy, eggs, or any other animal products. Instead, it includes fruit, vegetables, grains, nuts, seeds, and plant-based alternatives. Now, let's see how to use what we have learned in a dialogue. Hey girls, would you like to eat out this weekend? Good idea, I'm free on Saturday. How about you, Kate? That sounds great, I'd like to join you. Amazing, do you have any ideas on where to go? There is a new restaurant that just opened up not far from here. I checked the menu and it's reasonably priced. And what types of food do they have? Mostly local cuisine. And do they have continental food? I think yes. We can check the menu on their website. Hmm, I don't know. I'm a vegan. They serve vegan food too. Sounds good to me. I'm in. But it gets really busy on weekends. We need to make a reservation right now. Sure, I'll call the restaurant right away. I hope you enjoyed the dialogue. Before we continue, I want to tell you something. If you're enjoying this video so far, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Do not forget to click the notification bell so you will never miss any of my new video lessons. Part 2. At the restaurant. Now, when you are at the restaurant, the first thing you need to do is to ask the menu. It is a list of meals that a restaurant has. Many restaurants do not offer a menu on paper. They just have a QR code on the table. You need to scan it with your smartphone to see the menu. Also, some restaurants have a drinks menu that includes the list of drinks or beverages. Beverages are different types of drinks, such as water, juice, tea, coffee, soda, and alcoholic beverages like beer and wine. Sometimes you can see a section on the menu which is called Today's Specials. It is the meal that the chef has prepared specifically for today. It's the dish they do not usually have on the menu. It's something they have cooked for today. When you're having a meal at the restaurant, it may consist of three parts. Starter, a small dish to begin your meal. Main course, the biggest part of your meal. Dessert, a sweet food you have at the end. You can also have side dishes. These are extra foods you can order to go with your main dish, like fries or salad. When you're ordering a salad, you can also ask the server, can I have the dressing on the side? Dressing? What does it mean? Dressing is a sauce that you put on salads to add flavor. The phrase, can I have the dressing on the side, means you want the sauce served separately, so you can add as much as you like. Now imagine a situation where you're at the restaurant with your friend. Your friend orders something delicious, and when the waiter comes to take your order, you say, I want the same meal that he ordered. Or you can simply say, make it two. Make it two, please. Now let's see how to use all of these phrases in a dialogue. Could we have the menu? Sure, just scan this QR code. Can I take your order? 
What would you like for the main course? The grilled salmon, please. Great choice. And you, miss? Make it two, please. Okay. Any side dishes? Maybe a Caesar salad. And please, put the dressing on the side. And I'll have french fries. Okay. Anything to drink? Could I get a cup of green tea, please? I'll have a glass of water, please. Okay, I'll be right back with your order. Now, when you're having your meal and you need something, you may have some requests. You call the waiter or the waitress, but you need to do it in a polite way. For example, could we have some extra napkins, please? Could you bring some salt and pepper to the table, please? When you notice your glass of water is empty and you would like it refilled, you can say, Excuse me, could I please have some more water? Part 3. When you're going to leave. When your meal is finished and you want to pay for it, you can say, Can I have the bill, please? Could you bring us the bill, please? Or, may I get the check, please? If you want to divide the cost between you and your friend, you can ask to split the bill. That means you will pay for your meal and your friend will pay for their meal. For example, after finishing our dinner, we asked the waiter if we could split the bill. Another great phrase which is commonly used, it's on me. It's on me. What does that mean? If you want to treat your friend to a meal or buy something for them, you can say, it's on me. This means you're going to pay for it and they don't have to. Now, let's watch a conversation where a customer is paying the bill. Excuse me, can I pay for my meal? Of course, ma'am. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, it was delicious. Thank you. Great to hear. Would you like to pay by card or cash today? I'll pay with my card, please. Here is your receipt. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And now you know what phrases to use when you're planning to go to a restaurant or you're going to make an order or you're going to pay the bill. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time.